Good morning, everybody. We're here in London, Ontario. This is where we got attacked by the gang of skunks last night. If you missed yesterday's video, don't forget. Go back and watch. I haven't been able to find them this morning yet to show you, so I'm pretty sure they only come out at night. So I think later on, you and I, we're gonna go hunting the skunks. We gotta bring some law and order to this truck stop. Can't have gangs just marauding around, harassing drivers late at night. Diesel, they could have gotten you. They could have gotten you. I just wanted to play with them, man. They were so fluffy. I know. I'm glad I caught you though before you got to him, because he was. I wasn't exactly looking, and Diesel was sort of moving towards him already. Then all of a sudden he bolted. I was able to stop him. Thank goodness for a leash, right? It's another good reason for the leash. I know. It's okay. It's okay, man. Temptations. We all struggle with temptations. They were so fluffy, man. So cute. She wanted to go and play with them. Yeah, so uh, the story, well, I told the story yesterday at the end of yesterday's video. I'll let you go back and uh, watch that. But there is a group of skunks, at least six or seven of them, that came out last night and were aggressively harassing drivers who were going to the shower or for me when I was walking diesel. They're not scared of us. They walk towards you with their tails up demanding something but I don't speak skunk so I don't know what they want or I don't know what they wanted and I don't know where they went they're still around here I guarantee it they're off sleeping they'll be back tonight they'd be nervous <laughs> I'm not scared of skunks like I told you yesterday I just really don't want to get sprayed and I've never seen them behave that way before but I also did mention it's 2020 so nothing really surprises me anymore it was interesting to say the least so we're here in London, Ontario at the Flying J. I don't deliver until tomorrow morning. So we're hanging out here for the day. Me and my bean to cup just finished editing the video for you. That's the one you watched yesterday. It turned out to be pretty long. Uh, I had that big spiel about the skunks at the end there, like I was just saying, and uh, the vlog turned out to be over 30 minutes. I hope you guys are okay with that. Some of you I know don't like it to be that long, and some of you want it to be longer. So I can't please everybody. So yesterday you got a long one. I'm not sure if today will be as long because we're not really doing anything. We're just sitting around here waiting for tomorrow and possibly hunting down skunks later. I also already know what some of the comments will be about, and I haven't even released that video yet, but I, I kinda know what to expect because I deserve it. I spent a good portion in the middle of yesterday's video talking about being healthy, keeping your heart beating, and uh, beating the statistics of life expectancy in truckers. Right, the life expectancy of truckers is about 65, which is terrible, and I, I was saying that's a big a big thing to do with that is the fact that a lot of us don't get out of our trucks, including myself. We eat bad food and we don't move and we don't get our hearts beating. Okay, we're not gonna go into it again today because I lectured you enough yesterday and you're sick of it, I get it. But I also realized at the end of the day, I had the munchies. <laughs> I was craving some sugar and some chips and so I went and got myself some salt and vinegar chips and a couple of snacks and uh, I don't do that every day, just to say. And the irony wasn't lost on me that that happened the same day I was telling you about being healthy. I did tell you that I'm not perfect, okay? Every once in a while, I like to treat myself a little bit and every once in a while it comes around a little too often, I know, but I'm trying to be a good example at least by saying that I know we gotta be healthier even though we're not. So even though I am I struggle with my cravings for junk food, I know I've gotta do better. And uh, I, I try, I'm trying. And I've gotten better over the years, I think, but always room for improvement and I wanna encourage all of you to beat the odds. Let's raise that life expectancy up further than 65. Let's go like maybe 85 maybe, that'd be nice. That means we all gotta get out of our trucks at least once a day, get our bodies moving. You don't gotta go for a run, you don't gotta go for a jog or do jumping jacks, just get the body moving for at least a half hour. Or an hour if you can, just walking. Nothing big, just steady walking, no stops. For at least a half hour. I challenge you, okay? 
I know we can't all do this in the winter time, so before it gets cold, everybody, a half hour every day, just get yourself moving. Just doing something. I'm gonna do it too, and I'm gonna try to cut down on the junk food. So I bought these locks for the back of my trailer. It's just in the middle of opening them here now. The reason being is when I cross the border, I have that bolt seal on my trailer, right? I have to have that on there. But I have eight deliveries on this load. So at my first stop, I cut the seal, right? And then I hold on to it just in case anybody wants to see the seal that was on the trailer. No one has ever wanted to yet, but I keep it till I'm finished the load anyways. But for my next seven deliveries, uh, it takes a couple of days. That means I'm parking overnight with a trailer that's unlocked for a couple of nights. I've never had anything stolen off my trailer before, never had anything thrown into my trailer, but it does happen to others. It's, it's happened to others. Uh, I've been fortunate enough that it doesn't. So what I do when I don't have that bolt seal on there, I want to put these uh, these locks on the trailer just as in, just so that when I wake up in the morning, like I know people can cut through them, right? But at least when I go and do my pre-trip in the morning, I go to the back, I can tell if someone has gotten into the trailer, right? Because if my lock is cut, I know, uh-oh, something happened to my trailer and then I can call the police or whatever needs to be done at that time and check to see if anything's stolen or somebody you know stashed some drugs or something in my trailer if people are in there trying to get places they aren't usually supposed to go could be anything right so at least with the lock on there I go and do my pre-trip I go and check the lock if the lock is still locked and in place I know no one's opened my trailer nothing's happened to my freight if it's cut, well, just discuss that. So I've got two of them. These aren't exactly the ones I like to use. I like to use more of the weatherproof ones. Like, sure, this one says, like, uh, where does it say? Rust and weather resistant. That does not apply to Canadian weather, okay? These locks in wintertime rust up, and then you got a problem because then they don't unlock when you go up the salty roads. Everyone's starting up their trucks around me right now. That's okay. It's a truck stop. So these will work for a while, but then I like to get the real weatherproof ones that have the lock covered. That way the salt and grime doesn't get into the lock itself, and then it doesn't seize up on you nearly as quickly. None of them last forever, but and I got two here, so that'll, that'll be good. As soon as I take the seal off the trailer, I'm going to throw those on. And just make sure you don't lose the keys. I'm going to attach them to your key ring for your truck or something. Time to get out of the truck. Get a little bit active here. Oh, we got a race car driver coming over here. Watch out, Diesel. Come here. I have no idea where those skunks went. They're obviously hiding until the sun goes down. They could be in here anywhere. But they were at the other side of the parking lot, so this would be a rival gang on this side, I guess. I don't know if they have that much territory. I see a trail here. This could be a bad idea. Well, we're gonna see where it goes. Hopefully no skunks pop out at us. Come on, Diesel. Come on, stay close, bud. Stay close. No skunks, no skunks. Watch, this is probably the skunks trail and I'm like walking straight up to their den. Chasing me around London. Kinds of little animal trails around here. I want to get through into that parking lot back there because then I can get to the street, you know? Just. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's just get through here. All right. We made it. That trail. Oh, I guess the people who work in these buildings here probably uh, use that trail to go to the convenience store there at Flying J to get a coffee and stuff on their lunch break. That makes sense. Well, like I said, the skunks were on the other side of the parking lot anyway last night, so I'm pretty sure that's where their den is back there. So if you come to London Flying J, be aware there's a gang of skunks that are very aggressive at the back of the parking lot by the Blue Beacon. 
That's where they were chasing me yesterday. I'm pretty sure they only come out at night though. So this way I can get out to this industrial zone here, which is very quiet. I like to walk through these industrial zones because uh, no traffic, right? And it's the weekend, it's Sunday. So this neighborhood's nice and quiet. I don't gotta worry about cars and other people distracting this guy. It's a nice day for a walk. The leaves are still on the trees here. My mom sent me pictures or sent the family pictures of their campsite back home in Manitoba. Looked like pretty much all the leaves had fallen off already. Sad. So when we go home, it'll be full on fall. There might not even be any leaves left on the trees by the time I get home. No clowns in there today. My first appointment tomorrow is here in London at 8 a.m. And then I've got an appointment in Brantford at 10 a.m. I believe. And then uh, from there I head up to North Bay. No, Oshawa, and then North Bay. And then Anne, uh, another town, so Anna something. And then Ottawa, and then Dorval. I think that's my route. Random pipes just sticking out of the ground here. What's this? All kinds of snails in there. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? So yeah, we can't go to bed too late tonight, but I did sleep in, so I'm gonna have a hard time falling asleep, I'm sure. That's okay. That's why we go on these walks. Gets us tired out, and like I was saying, we gotta do something, right? I don't like running and jogging, I'm not a runner, but as long as I keep moving, I feel better about myself. And I feel better the next day, it puts me in a better mood. over we got diesel back in the truck delicious 20 bucks full meal it's not bad for up here anyway. Diesel. I know, I smell like grilled chicken or grilled steak or, what did I even have? I had country fried chicken. I smell like fried steak. It was country fried steak, that's what, I don't know. It's my usual, I just go in there and I just order my usual, I'm on autopilot when I go in there. But that is the day today. Tomorrow we gotta make a bunch of deliveries. How many deliveries do we got going on tomorrow? Let's go and ask the the load gods here, shall we? They gave me all these messages to follow. Okay, so... Bear with me here. Come on. My fingers aren't working. 
Oh boy. Okay. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. is our first delivery. Then, tomorrow, 10 a.m. is our second delivery in Brantford. Then, our next delivery is at 12.30 in Oshawa. That's a big one. I got two deliveries in Oshawa. Then I have another one in Oshawa. Uh, right, yeah, Oshawa at one o'clock. Okay, so we got four deliveries so far tomorrow. And then our next delivery is in North Bay. And that's the next day. <clears throat> so we got a little bit of, a little bit of stuff to do tomorrow. It's good. It'll keep us busy. That makes the day go by faster. That makes it feel like I get home faster. I'll continue playing my civilization game here. I am once again the United States of America, trying to take over the world. Keep getting attacked by Australia, though. What's up with you Aussies? Keep attacking my empire here. What did I ever do to you? I never provoked you at all. You just keep attacking me. I'm about to go and uh, take Melbourne in retaliation. He's attacked me twice now, unprovoked. So that's enough. Next time, I'm taking Melbourne. All right. This is Civilization Five. It's one of my favorite games. Passes the time real nice. But over here, we got, uh, oops, Australia, right? See, here's my Boston right there. This guy keeps going and attacking Boston for no reason. So now we've been at peace for uh, several turns. I'm gonna surprise him and attack him and take Melbourne. It's mine now. Well, it will be. Just building up my forces a little bit. It's gonna be great. It's a nice coastal town there. <laughs> Anyways, my life is boring, isn't it? Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching today. We've just been sitting around waiting for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, though. It'll be a busy day. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. <laughs>